Hey, dudes, pull up a pillow. Leo, what the hell did you do to my record store? Record store? You know, now that you mention it, this place would make an awesome record store. I left you in charge, and you turned my store into a hippie den for your stoner friends? That's not true, man. I don't know any of these people. Leo, I am not in the mood for this today. Just get these people out of here, all right? I'll be in my office. Leo, there's an orgy in my office! I can't tell the boys from the girls. It's hair everywhere! Man, I think I'm gonna have to fire Leo. He almost put me out of business. I just wish there was a good way to do it. Ugh. This is definitely gooder. Gooder. Yeah, that's a word. <sighs> Leo, I left you in charge of the store and you let me down, man. So I'm sorry to have to say, <laughs> you're fired, man. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is fried, man. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> no, no, man, I mean, you're fired. That's even funnier, man. <laughs> and I totally deserve it. Yeah, and you're under arrest, too. <laughs> what? No, I'm just kidding. These handcuffs don't even work. Look. Wait. These are the ones that do work. Hey, I saw this Help Wanted sign outside. Are you still looking? Uh... Leo, were you, were you trying to hire somebody? No, yesterday I was having a hard time opening up a jar of pickles, so I put the help wanted sign on it. <laughs> too late, man. I found something else to eat. <clears throat> Why do they make the lid so tight? It's just pickles! So you're not hiring? <sighs> That's a bummer. Because I got to say, if this is your idea of a staff meeting, I'd work my butt off. What the hell, man? I'm in a given mood right now. You can have the job and do all the work that Leo wasn't doing. And Leo, I can't fire you, man. You're too awesome. New guy, you're hired. Leo, you're not fired. Job's for everyone. Well, that was hard, but it had to be done. See these guys over there? They think Leo's an almond brother. Why would they think that? I told them. Leo's an Almond Brother? <laughs> no, man. We were overstocked with Almond Brothers albums, so I figured meeting one of the guys from the band would put people in a buying mood. And it totally worked! And Leo's up for this? Oh, he has no idea what's going on. I mean, at all. He's really out of it. You know, now that you mention it, if we could give him a hat and some sunglasses, we could probably use them to move some ZZ Top. Yeah. Your friend here might be pretty enough to pass off his share. It's yeah. not a bad idea, Andy Gibb. <laughs> so what do you want to talk to me about? Oh. Well, I guess I just wanted to congratulate you on your new job here at the record store. I'm gonna name you Senior Vice President in Charge of Scams. All right, man. Man, I can't fire Leo. He's like a father to me. Well, like a friend. Well, he's like a guy who's always got a lighter. Oh, so, if you're not gonna fire Randy, and you're not gonna fire Leo, I got a question. Can I see your wife's boobs? Hey, guys, guess what? One of the Almond Brothers is here.